This is the good or bad list. Coffee, depending on what it's mixed with and when you have it, um, isn't necessarily bad, but if it's the only thing you're drinking first thing in the morning with nothing else, then it, it, it is bad. Milk, not a fan of dairy. It's not just the fact that dairy isn't uh, you know, good for the human body because of the pasteurization. Um, it's because of actually even the quality of the milk that, that we're getting. But definitely I would have to put milk, pasteurized milk, on the bad list. Soy, depending on the type of soy, again, what most people are consuming and what they're told is good is very bad, um, especially the soy that you're getting in some kind of a soy protein powder. But if we go look at traditional soy, which is fermented soy, tempeh, miso would be two examples. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but you have the key is that it has to be fermented. It can't be some uh, GMO or genetically modified organism or some type of um, you know, soy protein powder that, that's typically available in the market or in protein bars. Red wine, I mean, or we can go with any kind of an alcohol, but red wine specifically, again, in moderation can be good, but it can't be the only thing that you're, you're drinking, and, and then we have to look at the amounts and, and what time. Prepared frozen meals, again, get, gets very far away from what is natural in terms of something that was, you know, created packaged. So it depends on what's frozen, um, how it's recooked. If it's cooked in a microwave, is it cooked in plastic? But that's typically what we're talking about, and those would be bad. Nutritional bars is a very confusing um, topic. M the key to look at a nutritional bar for a yes would be something that's natural that's just has, that does expire at a, at a you know, very soon time with it just in use a couple months. And it has just usually fruits and nuts in it. If you can't pronounce the ingredient list and it's more than probably you know, five or six items long, the answer would probably be no. Red meat, um, controversial topic, but again, what is available to the average person, a lot of the red meat is not good. But if you can get your hands on a very good grass-fed beef, um, the answer is, you know, yes. Carbohydrates are definitely good, but again, are we ta it, the different type of carbohydrates, we have are simple and complex. If it's a real carbohydrate that comes from the earth, rice, potatoes, quinoa, yams, these are all very good carbohydrates. Processed carbohydrates, uh, fruits as well are good to be added to that list, but if it's a processed carbohydrate, it comes in a package or a refined sugar, absolutely uh, no. Fats are again very wonderful. They're very good for the body, definitely will help you lose weight, but they have to be the right type of fat. So things that come from the earth, whether it's almond butter, um, coconut, avocado are some of the best fats on earth. Trans fats, and um, fats that are hydrogenated are put into a food very bad. Blueberries, fantastic fruit, wonderful whether it's a, you know, a frozen or a fresh blueberry, uh, you can never go wrong with a blueberry. Almonds, great fat, great nut, got some protein in there as well, very good food.